Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to show you how to uh, track your water intake using the bodily app. We can navigate to the uh, water intake page. Here, uh, quite straightforward, we enter our uh, daily quantity of water in milliliters. In my case, it's um, let me see, three, four hundred milliliters, so four liters of water. And uh, I'm going to include here hot climate. So here we have two uh, options to check boxes, which must be checked uh, in case uh, e uh, that uh, they apply. So if we, if today in my case uh, it was a uh, hot climate, so uh, warm weather, uh, this checkbox uh, should be checked. So in my, so currently uh, it's summer, and today there were uh, twenty five degrees uh, Celsius. I was outside for two hours for a long walk. So uh, um, yeah, I was exposed to hot climate. And the uh, second option is for sickness. Uh, so if you are, um, if today you are uh, ill or uh, had fever or something, uh, uh, that option should be checked as well. Uh, why? Uh, very simple. The um, Badly app automatically calculates based on your personal information. So from your profile page, which we I will make another video for that one. Um, uh, the app calculates your the, your uh, water intake requirements for the day. Um, so these options uh, are used for those calculations to make a better estimate. Uh, here in the water intake page we have um, uh, three tabs. So the details tab where we enter this information and the metrics tab so the metrics tab we see again the quantity and we see uh, the points so and uh, before each uh, metric we have uh, uh, you can see uh, two green thumbs up so you will see on every um, uh, page uh, for on every metrics tab on every page uh, we will have uh, either thumbs green thumbs up or either uh, red thumbs down uh, in so obviously if we have a uh, green thumbs up that means uh, that uh, we are doing something good okay so in my case yeah so the quantity this means so if we have the green thumbs up in the quantity that means that uh, the quantity uh, is uh, um, achieves our uh, requirements and uh, the points, uh, so for every um, lifestyle tracker, we will get points uh, based on um, how uh, much we accomplish. So um, uh, usually the, the points are uh, around 100. So everything, uh, at least 100 is, uh, is good for the points. Uh, again, if we... Um, if you want to re uh, receive this information, you can tap on each metric, and you will see a, a pop up for each metric, and which uh, describes the inf uh, what's that inform what that what uh, that information means. So you can see that quantity is uh, obviously the amount of water we drank, and the points um, indicates how much water you. Uh, you drink according to your, to your requirements around 100 is best okay so uh, and the last uh, tab the trends tab uh, in the trends we see uh, statistics with uh, the, the with the water intake on different uh, days uh, yeah so you can see we have some days and the amount of water I drink. So you can see on the 
13th of May, I had uh, 3,000 milliliters, the next day 4,000 and 3,000 and so on. So that's my range, usually I drink a lot of water. Uh, yeah, and we also can, uh, we have that uh, funnel button in, uh, in the top right, which we can use to, as you saw with the feature description, we can use to filter the trends so we can increase or decrease the, the days the uh, trends re trends range so of course we have uh, the last uh, seven days so we can ch ch uh, choose the last 30 days for example and we can change the series so the uh, what information you want to plot on the on the trends on the chart so we had quantity let's choose now points and save and now you can see our chart changed from quantity to points and you can see now in the last 30 days how much how many points we received uh, so yeah that's mainly it with the um, um, uh, water intake page you can see we have um, in the top of the in, the in the toolbar we have some options so um, you saw the uh, funnel option here but we also have uh, three more options so the first one is the date button date uh, option which is used to change the date of the water intake water intake um, page so we can choose let's say 2nd of June and the page changed we are now in the 2nd of June if you go to trends you see in the 2nd of June I drank 4000 milliliters of water in the 1st I drank 3000 yeah good uh, the second one is the copy button so this option is useful if we, if we are consistent and we usually drink the same amount of water every day so we don't we don't want to type every time right so we just copy from one day to another so let's go back to today uh, today 6th of june and tomorrow probably i will drink the same amount of water and it will also be hot climate so we go to 7th of june tomorrow is 7th of june copy water copied and it's tomorrow you see so we have the water, go to trends, yeah, you see, 7th of June and 6th of June, same water, right? And the uh, last option, the share button. So the share button is, uh, you can use it to share this page with uh, your friends well, from Facebook, wherever you want, or Twitter. So... If, um, you can use it to share this page and to, to let others to see your page. Uh, yeah, so I think it's copied to clipboard. You can paste it and yeah. And of course you can have the overview of the water intake here in the overview page. Water intake you see, 400 milliliters, 125 points. And here you can also see, uh, navigate faster. So that's it with this uh, feature. I hope uh, I was pretty uh, explicit with you. And uh, yeah, I invite you to try yourself to check your water and uh, stay tuned for uh, more videos on the uh, demo and presentation of the bodily app um, bodily application. Thank you and uh, yeah, have a good day and take care.